from wherever it is that you are receiving this, know that you are loved, know that your place here on planet Earth is so incredibly appreciated. And I just wanted to speak a little bit today um, about some of the energy that's coming through. So we are in an integration period right now. We had moved through those big blasts, I want to say, especially the 1212 and then the 1221, moved through these big kaboom blasts of lots of um, light and lots of new coding, lots of activation into everything, like to every expansion, there's an integration. And we're in an integration phase right now. So you most likely are feeling this. And when you tune into these messages, of course, the message has been over and over again, move as you're called to move, be as you're summoned to be, right? This is not a time for pushing. This is not a time for big to-do lists, unless that's innate in your soul, unless that's what's really summoning through you. What is alive right now is this is a huge integration time is what I keep getting. And it's going to lead us to the full moon. The full moon is in Cancer. It's on the it's on December 29th. It occurs at 628 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And this it's it's the big release. It's the ultimate release. So it's coming in, it's swooping in just as we're closing out this most intense year of 2020. And every full moon is it's the it's the it's the door closing it's the completion right we get to really see right because it casts the bright light to what has transformed over the month preceding these markers of time from one full moon to the next it's the door closing for the new to begin and this full moon it's a full emotional release it's in cancer it's in its um moon cancer is um is connected to the moon it is in its own sign and it's it's here for the final completion it's here for the the big kaboom and you may feel the emotion of it it's 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 an emotional reset it's the final culmination of 2020 final um full moon let let no stone leave no stone unturned is what my guidance is saying right now it's like it's the real eyes, what needs to be looked at, what needs to be handed over emotionally, what is complete. And you might feel the depths of your heart and your soul with this full moon. And in fact, bring it on, right? Bring it on. Let it move through you. Let it move you to really be in that closure. And part of what wanted to come through today is this concept that perception is our reality. Now we know, we know, we know this, but we perceive things from the space that we are in, right? We perceive things um, from the lens of which we're looking at things, right? You can look at the same experience with a different lens and perception is your own reality, right? It's how you're perceiving things that will have direct effect upon how you're feeling. And so are you in a victim mindset or are you in a champion mindset? These are the words that wanted to come through, victiming or championing. And during this full moon and, and coming into the, the essence of it, we're already riding into the essence of it, it's really a great time for review. Are you in a victim mindset or are you in a champion mindset? Our victim mindset holds us in the density of third dimensionality. Our championing mindset holds us in the full awareness, reality, realized of the fifth dimensional expression, right? So when I was playing and praying into this, um, they were saying, whatever your mindset is, is what reality you will receive the proof of it as such. So if we can use something like if you went for the job, right? And, and you didn't get hired. If you're in the victim mindset, you would be in the space of saying, well, of course I didn't get hired, I'm not enough. 
you know, I'm not good enough and here's the proof of it. And I knew it going in and I knew it was bigger than, than what I, um, I just, I just knew I shouldn't have. I just, you know, you can get into this, this whole spectrum of victimization and denial if that's the lens you want to look at it. When you're in a championing mindset, in a championing, like the universe is working through me, it's working with me, it's working for me, right? I didn't get the job. The job must not be good enough for me, right? Here's the difference. Not that I'm not good enough for the job, but the job must not be good enough for where I am in this moment. And as I've said to my clients forever, the, the, the lens at the end of, of, this, of this journey, right? When you're looking back over everything that has occurred, you will see the absolute perfection that everything had to unwind, unfold, be delivered in exactly the way of which it was delivered to you because there is perfection. The universe is in absolute perfection. Look at a flower. Right. Look at the sacred geometry. Look at the shells. Look at look at what the look at what this planet produces. And it's all in this absolute perfection. Right. The flower doesn't say, oh, I'm not good enough to bloom because my one petal is turned in. It says, look at my perfect expression with my one petal turned in. So what mindset are you moving from? Right. Are you in the victim space? Or are you championing yourself? And when we're in that, they're saying champion your perception, you must rise up. And it begins so much within you. It is, it is all within you. That means it's all possible within you too. So this big word of trust, do you trust that everything is perfect? Perfectly imperfect. Do you trust that? A friend of mine the other day said her greatest gift was that she has this deep well of trust. And I've witnessed her move through the world in so many different ways. And that deep well of trust is always moving her forward, right? She sees that, she sees that everything is happening to support her. And if it doesn't bring her joy, she moves on, she lets it go and she moves forward. And it's such a beautiful thing to witness. Are you witnessing that in your own reality? So they're saying champion your perception. You must rise up. We get to choose in every moment and how we choose is based on what we're thinking. And they, they're saying very loudly and very clearly, it is time in the light of this full moon to reconcile or release. Or perhaps reconcile and release, right? So reconcile whatever the reality within you is. Are you vibrating from the victim or from the champion? And when you're in this champion mindset, when you're championing the, ele the, the elevation of trust, the, the, the capacity to trust at a higher level, just it just, it just increases, right? So everything is working for me. Everything is moving through me. And at the core of it all, my friends, there must be a fundamental belief system that you are worthy, right? And in all of these years of exploration, the bottom line all comes down to, do you believe that you are worthy? And when you know that you are worthy of having an extraordinary experience, an extraordinary life, then you know that if it is for you, it will be received through you. And if it is not for you, not now, then there is no pushing anything into creation. It is all in allowance, right? If it is for me, it shall be with me. And if it is not, then it was not meant to be. And I am free because I am worthy and I know that I am championed by source itself. So just a reminder, right? We're remembering who we are at higher soul level. And part of that remembrance is, in, is an infinite belief. You must find this infinite belief that trusts deep inside of you that everything is working just as it is meant to. That you are worthy, that you are valuable. And if it is for you, there is no way it will not find its way to you to be expressed and experienced through your reality. Do you trust that? I mean, do you like really, really trust that? Because if you really trust that, 
then you are in a champion mindset. And, and no matter what comes, you will see it as being perfect. Here we are in this world, perfectly imperfect. So be with the full moon as it's approaching. Let any emotions that must come around this, because when we really embody this belief system, when we really allow ourselves to remember this truth, then there is a lot of emotion of how much energy and time we have spent in the suffering of our victim, of our victim mindset. And the availability, it is more available to you in this now moment than it ever has been before to remember who you are at soul level. That is why we are here. Let it move through you in the light of this full moon. And if it is to be released, then let it move as it wants to release. Um, so I just wanted to send my love to you. I want to tell you you're all doing an amazing job of becoming new humans. If you're feeling the intensity, if you're feeling this yin inward pool, then be with it. It is for you to integrate all that has been delivered through you in these days, weeks, months, and the entirety of this year. Integrate, integrate, integrate. Be as you be and trust as you trust. I am sending infinite love to your eternal light. I am in love with you as we rise together. Have a blessed night. Bye for now.